Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for April 2021 for the sign of Pisces. So let's get straight into your reading. I'm going to pull a few oracle cards first, Pisces, and then we'll go into the tarot cards. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, message for Pisces, please, angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. First card, Pisces, is think things through. Okay, what is the message from Spirit, please, for Pisces? Thank you. Message for Pisces, April 2021. Soul power. <clears throat> Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Okay, and it's also about trusting your intuition here. What is your intuition telling you? Maybe in thinking something through this month. Message for Pisces, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for all of you, Pisces. April 2021. Number 16. Expansion. Educate your mind and senses. This is about opening your mind, isn't it? It's interesting, we're getting a lot of that kind of energy here, Pisces, thinking something through, opening your mind to new possibilities maybe, broadening your perspective, I mean, call it what you will, I'm sure I think there's levels to this card. Um, okay. Message for Pisces, please. Final card before we get into the tarot cards message for our lovely Pisces thank you April 2021 thank you we have shark lead as a powerful peaceful warrior archangels Metatron and jewels and this is lead as a powerful and peaceful warrior maybe taking the lead in something okay Pisces so I'm going to pull three cards First card is the message from Spirit. Second card, what it relates to. And the third card is any further advice or action to take. Okay. Message for Pisces, please. Angels, Spirit's Guide. Message for Pisces. April 2021. Thank you. Message for Pisces, thank you, April 2021. There we go. So we have the Four of Cups. And we have the Six of Swords here, Pisces. And the Eight of Pentacles bottom of the deck I've got the king of cups which I, I see as you male or female energy in this reading it feels in this respect I mean it, it feels in this respect you are the king of cups um getting Pisces that there is there's going to be some kind of decision to make maybe some kind of path to choose but you need to give deep thought to it i mean this is the message from spirit think things through <laughs> this is a card of deep thought contemplation reflection on how you need to move forward in a situation so you know and again this intuitive energy of spirit is leading you in a specific way so trust your instinct and i was definitely getting that message with this card soul power you're being led in a specific direction it might well be this expansion energy broadening your thoughts opening up your mind look at things from different perspectives you know but it definitely feels in this energy you're giving some deep thought to a situation what does it relate to it feels like putting um this can be detaching from something 
Uh, the Six of Swords can be about uh, leaving troubles behind, moving to better times, and maybe the actions that you need to take in order to make that happen. So for some of you, that might, that might kind of resonate. I mean, something that could have given you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry here, Pisces, there's definitely an energy of some of you are, are giving some serious thought in how you're going to move forward. Um, how you're going to find the right path, you know, it, it definitely feels like that energy. And it's almost like, how are you going to put troubles? Um, we see the choppy waters on this card and we see the calmer waters that this person is heading towards. How you're just going to restore equilibrium, balance, find the right direction, put the worst of it behind you and it feels in this respect you're being told to think things through open your mind to all aspects and then take the lead you know I'm definitely getting that lead energy it was standing out very clearly with me from an empowered point of view because you've considered all the possibilities and now you're making the right decision for you You know, and I get this for you. I mean, the King of Cups, it's generally Scorpio for me as a reader, but I'm seeing this as you because it's an empowered energy. The King, he is the achiever, he's somebody in his power, somebody who is the master of his element. And it's interesting that I'm getting choppy waters and we have choppy waters around the King there, but he manages to rise above them. You know, he sits in the middle of the ocean, you know. Um, so whatever... There's a sense of mastering the troubles that you may be facing, uh, the difficulties that you might be encountering right now. There is an opportunity to master them, to, to rise above them, um, be in your power over them by maybe making some kind of decision or choice on how you move forward. The Eight of Pentacles is very good in terms of money, career, finances. Um, for me as a reader, it is about material gain. It can be to do with maybe some kind of deep thought to how you move forward to get greater material gain or recognition. That could be to do with bonuses, promotions, status changes, call it what you will. You know, this is somebody who also gets recognised, noticed can be to do with internships or maybe some educational project as well. It's all about, it can be about in terms of bringing gain into your world, the things that you need to do to bring uh, gain into your world. Generally material gain, I'm feeling with this energy. And there's some deep thought you want to, so it might well be for some of you that you're thinking about doing some kind of um, course, maybe adding a new skill set or learning a new craft in order to move from choppy waters to calmer waters. For some of you, it might well be that you want greater recognition, greater money, greater pay, maybe more responsibility. And you've been working towards that. And there may be some choice or decision that you need to make in order to, to bring that gain to your door. Either way, I see this as very empowering. And it's interesting because the King of Cup, it's interesting, I'm seeing that as well. You see, there are four cups. It's almost like there are four options open to you here and um, four paths. I mean, somebody is giving some deep thought in a situation, but your intuition is leading you to a specific direction here, which is held by the hand of God, the universe, the divine. So I'm definitely getting in this energy. This is the king holding that cup, following that path and being empowered as a result of really trusting his instincts, thinking all aspects through and moving forward with full clarity. This is full clarity, the sword's energy, the mind, the mental perspective, clarity um, on bringing a positive um, change. This is a card of change and transition to what this circumstance relates to. It feels to do with money and career here. Pisces is giving some deep thought to a situation, but it can also be how you bring gain into that aspect. So like I said, can be some educational project, new craft that you might be learning in order to bring greater material gain to your door. But there's definitely an energy of feeling empowered by the end of the month. So I'm it's a beautiful, beautiful message. So open your mind to all possibilities and then follow where you feel you need to go. You know, that is the message. 
Okay. Final message for... And it could well be also expansion is available to you. You know, this energy of expansion is really beautiful. It's almost like aligning to where you need to be. There are alignment energies here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've got number 32. We will light the path to new possibilities for your future. Stay aware. Oh my goodness, Pisces. That is such a perfect message. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.